Hello everyone, welcome back. I know it has been a little while since we have seen each other and since I have posted a video. I'm back. I just wanted to check in with any status updates, see how you guys are doing, what's going on with quarantine and how we're doing as a whole. So let's get into it. Hope everyone is healthy and well with isolation, not necessarily coming to an end, but it does seem like it is getting a little better when you're inside so long it almost feels like you become out of touch with the world the news everything that's going on but then again you try to stay educated if you know what's what going I mean. on with me i am in a similar predicament i am at home my girlfriend is an essential worker as a nurse i got lucky she's doing an amazing job along with her co-workers respect and um, you know, my best shout out to all the essential workers, first responders who are doing all they can to make sure that this virus does not increase and get worse. Um, so it seems like they are doing a better job on that end. With me, once again, I am home. I am not working remotely like many others. I'm kind of just hanging out, waiting for everything to blow over, see what goes on from there. I do have to admit with it in the past couple weeks, I have had a little bit of a fall off mentally, but when it gets lonely, you get tired or almost, you know, you get nervous that there's not much more to do. And that's the state that I've hit. So while making these vlogs, while blogging, I've gotten into writing. So it gets hard to contemplate what a purpose is for not necessarily you being on earth, but what the purpose is in general, what your purpose is for society, especially, you know, say with my girlfriend, working every single day, helping those in need. I'm sitting here like, just drinking my coffee. What do I do today? And it makes me think is the crazy thing, uh, you know, how many people have maybe increased the amount of alcohol cons consumption, the amount that they're smoking pot. I do have, a you know issue with mental illness if you want to check out my blog which i am posting today about it um and you want to kind of get into more detail and see and learn about that then you can check out the link right here jacobfrankel.com i hope you guys enjoy and are able to relate give me some feedback on that that'll be awesome I'm trying to figure out myself um more I was looking at myself in the mirror and I'm thinking, let's start fresh. You know what? Let's go bald. So we took it to the next level. I am practically bald. I've never gone this short before. A lot of mixed opinions. But when I said we were trying to grasp onto that purpose, some of us it made me feel like, hey, you know what? I don't care what people think about me. I want to focus on me, what I can do to better myself. So let me start fresh. Let me come to a new beginning. And although many people know me for my hairstyle, my whoosh, as I would call it, right in the front, I don't need a whoosh. I could wake up every single morning and have more time to focus on what I need to focus on without getting out of the shower, doing my hair. I know it sounds like a small task, but it does make a difference. We should all go bald to see. That's up to you. Personal decision. And no regrets. You know, I'm happy to have done it and we'll see where it goes. Change your mindset, change your perspective and make sure that you're thinking productively, creatively and we'll all be out of this soon. We will prevail from the COVID-19 pandemic. Stay inside, make sure it doesn't spread and I'll see you all on the flip side. Bye guys.